Okay, so today I want to talk about something that people have been asking me for quite some time. If you have seen my channel, uh, if you go to videos, then uh, go sort by most popular, then you'll see the first three or four videos are just study vlogs, uh, like this one, where I study for like 12 hours a day, another one which is really popular, like, it. well, that's a 14 hour study day, okay? Uh, then there is a busy weekend at IIT Hyderabad, which is another big study vlog where I study for again more than 10 hours a day. And then at number four, we have the group study where I studied for 10 hours in one go. And then you can find another that is uh, 15 hours of study in one day at college. People seem to love this, and since the start, people have been asking me how do I do this? How the hell can someone study for 14 hours or 15 hours a day? Well, I think it's time that I finally break it down and again you might be disappointed to know that there is no shortcut or there is no hidden trick to do this. There is obviously a particular procedure you can take to get to this. Another disclaimer is that I do not recommend you to study 14 or 15 hours a day. It is really unhealthy to sit for that long or focus on one task for that long. I mean it's okay if you do this for like one day or one week that's fine but if you want to do this for more than two three weeks or months then it will eventually lead you to burnout unless of course you absolutely enjoy studying then you shouldn't be watching this video anyways another big disclaimer is that i don't study like this at all now uh, like i did study for around 10 to 12 hours for the last two months of my j preparation but that time I'll come to that later about how I could do that for two months without getting burned out. But now I study for like two to four hours a day in general, like in lockdown that's gone down to maybe one or two hours a day. In college that is generally for two to four hours a day and I occasionally before exams, everyone does this. Everyone studies for like 10 hours or 12 hours the night before exam. That's just how it happens at college. We don't take the load of uh, every course throughout the whole semester we take it in the last few days and that's a really cool cheap way to enjoy the rest of the semester so if i have to narrow the whole deconstruction down to one point it will be focus and it's obvious that to study for more than 10 hours a day you need to have good focus and i've already made a video about how to increase your focus how to improve your concentration to study longer make sure you check that out in this corner or this corner somewhere over there and diving even more deep into focus it, the first thing that comes is motivation obvious now one thing you really need to understand is motivation is not long lasting nobody is at the peak of the motivation every day for all the through the week and all through the month it just doesn't happen like that people who are actually studying for more than 10 hours a day have got it into a habit if you have a habit of something it makes it really easy to follow through that it's like brushing your teeth after you wake up we don't have to gain motivation to do that and well obviously studying will never go to that point you still have to push yourself sometimes but what i'm trying to say is don't do this every day for a longer period of time it will just lead to a burnout really quickly like for another analogy consider someone is habituated to doing 10 push-ups every day if he wants to do 100 push-ups just the next day it's not gonna happen it's just not gonna happen but in some someone else who is already doing 60 to 70 push-ups every day he can get to 100 push-ups a day within a week or something if you're studying for less than six or seven hours a day you can't just take a leap and go straight to 10 hours a day that just doesn't work like that where does the motivation come from it can be the end result by like by achieving something like if you run for one kilometer you can have ice cream it's just like that you're not maybe you're not very fond of running but you like ice cream that's why you can run that one kilometer it's something like that if the thing you're working for is really worthwhile to you that can be a source of motivation source of motivation can be anything like you can be competing with your friends that can be a source of motivation you can be doing something just to prove a point to yourself that can be a motivation like really anything can be a motivation just make sure it has some value to you and also i'll say this again motivation isn't consistent for anyone you have to build a habit for this if you're studying for like four hours to five hours every day try increasing that but slowly try increasing half an hour and try to stick to that for a week then increase another half an hour that way you can probably do it 
Next on the list is distractions. Distractions are the main agents of procrastination that makes it even harder to concentrate on your studies and study for longer period of time as a consequence. So tackling this is actually really easy. Get rid of your distractions. That's how easy it is. Put your phone on the other room. Block all the social media in your laptop if you're studying in a laptop. And if you're really into using your phone as a distraction, then try using apps like Forest or Calm or anything like those focus apps which doesn't let you access your phone until the timer goes off. And when you start studying, it's inevitable that that's something will just pop in your mind that you have to do this. And you just leave your studies for like five to 10 minutes, go do that thing and come back. It resets your whole focus or concentration that you build up over that time. So that's not a good thing to do. So what can you do about it? Keep a short notepad to your side and write down the things you need to take care of later so that you don't have to keep that in your mind. You don't have to worry about forgetting about something else that you have to do. And the last point about tackling distractions is to not rule them out completely, but to actually plan your distractions. That way they can be used as a refreshment for your productivity. This point obviously brings you to the third topic, which is scheduling or making a timetable, making a to-do list, anything like that is really, really important. I really like this quote. I don't remember who said this, but it goes like this, that if you want to improve any aspect of your life, start tracking it and half of your problem is solved. So start planning and start tracking. Start seeing where is your time going into. It's really not that hectic if you think about it. Like, And obviously we need breaks, right? We need to play games or watch an anime, watch a movie, read a book or something. Some sort of escape is really necessary. We talk about this in detail in another video that will show up in the cards here or here somewhere. And it's also important that you don't feel guilty about taking a break or playing a game or watching an anime. And really the only way to do that is to schedule your breaks. Like take a bullet journal or any notebook or any diary and plan your day. Like from this point to this point, I'm going to study. From this point to this point, I'm going to play a game. If you plan those things beforehand, it's much more likely that you won't feel guilty because you're not breaking out of your schedule. And obviously another thing will be scheduling is important, but living according to a schedule might get monotonous after a long period of time. So sometimes it's okay to break a schedule. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you can't study someday, Take a break. Like sometimes it's really necessary to take off your nerd glasses and chill out. That's all for me today. And while you're down there, leave a like if you think this was helpful in any sort. Leave a dislike if you think the art is flat. so deep from below the ground, I go where I hear the sound. All on my own, I can feel it now, unknown. So my heart pounds because I don't understand what happens now. Oh no, I rest in peace. Be behind a lesser me. Working hard to better me. Looking back, I'll never be. Let's go recklessly. Fighting to forget it's me. I feel inside it's best to ring, but I just want to.